St. Clair Region Conservation Authority was originally founded in 1961 as the Sydenham Valley Conservation Authority. Since that time we've expanded two different occasions. We now cover almost 4,100 square kilometers stretching from Ilderton to um, Ipperwash on Lake Huron down to Wallaceburg and Mitchells Bay on Lake St. Clair. Certainly from, from the environmental awareness standpoint, the biggest thing that people know us for are our conservation areas. And those are the natural areas that are within most mostly urban areas, like the park system across the lake and behind me. Um, and, and a lot of people know us for those because they are natural areas where they can go walk, do passive recreation, whether it's throw football around or walk your dog, and, and certainly can commune with nature. They get a, a positive health experience at the same time, so that's very valuable. Um, our education program, where we actually are both in the classroom and um, have children from the school system come out to our uh, come out to our facilities, where we have a whole variety of uh, different programs that are all curriculum based and teaching children from primary right into secondary school and and they have a, a wonderful uh, experience and we run about 12,000 12 to 13,000 children through that program annually uh, so that's that's been very vital because we have such a diverse uh, suite of programs that we do at the authority certainly one of the things that's kind of one of my favorites is a lot of our bi biological programs yeah. so we're, we're spending a lot of time um, determining where the species at risk in our watershed reside what they need for a a strong and positive habitat for them to exist in and we're also working with our municipalities in that same way working on municipal drain management so there's an understanding of what the requirements are for the species where they are and how we can try and help them uh, improve the, their environment so that they can they can be stronger preferably to the point where they're no longer a species at risk um, and it's it's created some great synergy with our municipalities and working on that program we are delighted to be nominated. Uh, we were very fortunate enough a few years ago to, to uh, receive uh, one of the awards from the Chamber of Commerce and truly we're delighted. We love to be able to work with the community. A lot of the local tree planting that we've done with the school groups and with some of the community volunteers helping to reforest the community has been, has been a great experience for our staff and certainly it's a wonderful experience for the environment and the community as well. So we're, we're very proud that we've been nominated for this award.